July 2nd, 2020, over one year ago, I asked the question, what happened to Guns Up? Today, I have an answer. Because, check this out. We've got a trailer for Guns Up Mobile. This came out August 10th. Let's let's watch it together. You see that? There's a tank. I saw a tank. There's also a tank on the thumbnail for this video, mind you. So meet your troops. The Ranger, Assault and Mercenary. The Infantry. Yeah, boy. All right, so if they say the Infantry, does that mean we're gonna get vehicles? My God, this video, if you guys are new to the channel and have never seen a video of Guns Up, never played it, you guys are in for a treat, man. This is a fun game. So now we got the support troops. All still infantry units, mind you. But what's with the tank, man? They're teasing us with the tank. But essentially, this game is all about attack and defense. In defense, you basically lay out... Ooh, I love the super... Oh, yeah, the heavies. I love these guys. I call them the superheroes. Especially the guy that looks like Rambo. But when you're defending your base, you, you basically carefully lay out a defense. And then when you're attacking, you have sort of indirect control over your troops. So, coming soon to mobile. Yes. Guns up is going mobile. But look at this thumbnail. L look in the lower left. That is a tank. Not a truck. Not a half track. A tank. So welcome back to Guns Up. The game where we wanted to know what was happening to it over a year ago, and now we have an answer. It is going mobile. So if you're new, let me show you a quick battle. We're gonna- we're gonna fight... We're gonna attack another human player's base. Ooh, we, we got a bronze badger in for having Baron's Brigade. All so long ago. Hold on, they're, they're trying to sweeten the pot with rewards. Man, I've been- I've been away for a while. I would like to skip all of them. <laughs> There's just too many. Okay, so check this out. We have a, a randomly generated map here. And the enemy bases, which are designed and made by players, and look at this, you can see PlayStation bases, you'll see some PC bases. Log a log a log a log. Oh my god, did this dude. Does this guy like math or did he read the Red Bull books? I'm not entirely sure. Actually, that's log log log, not log a log a log. But the enemy base is kind of like preview. They have a base power, but you can look at three bright red skulls. That's kind of scary and imposing, right? 7,000. One is 1,600. So this is a base, Let, let's fight, I love the two skull ones because these usually are the best bang for your buck. It's at least at the tier I'm at. So now we get to go to our attack cards, right? What do we have that is available? Well, one of the most powerful cards, even though it looks like you're surrendering, is called the rally flag. There's all kinds of strategies, but I would say that these three right here are some of the ones you need the most when fighting a really, really strong base. Now, you will be given one rally flag. Here, let me just show you. And then focus fire. Oh my god, focus fire is... This is the best card in the entire game. So let's get a tear gas. Let's get a missile. Let's get a pair of troopers. And, uh... You know what? Let's boost all of our units' fire rate by 15%. Why not? And now we get to move out. Now, if we were to get to level 42, which we're only level 34, if you look in the upper left. Hold on, let me turn on my mouse. Yeah, we're 34 up here, and you need 42 to get another attack card. Granted, we'll be fighting bigger, badder boys. I love this. Toasty McToast, oh yes. From the Kingdoms and Castles Empires, you fiends who love that game. We're fighting Supicore. PC versus PlayStation. Master Race versus Sony PlayStation Race. All right, so let's see. We've got some attack cards. Can we see... We can only see a certain amount of distance in front of our foremost unit. Since it's this truck, we can't see too much. We can see an explosive barrel and a little bit of base. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to summon in a rifle squad. And then a rifle squad. Look in the bottom right. You see that helmet? 15 out of 32? 20 out of 32? That's how many troops we can bring to battle right now. Now we will bring one of these guys. One of these guys. And then we're going to pop out this guy. Now, I've upgraded his speed, so he's actually pretty fast. You'll notice how he easily gets to the front of the battlefield. We've got another RPG as well. Alright, so we got an enemy pillbox, some enemy fortifications. Let's actually... The shield guy is gonna soak up most of that fire. He also drops stun grenades. Now, if this machine gun nest hits that explosive barrel, so many guys are gonna die. Luckily, he didn't. Now, when a, a base dies, we get some ammunition. That's our currency. Look how it refills in the 
bottom left. Big guy gets to the front. He goes right through that. That's interesting. Was that intended? He just got right through that. Okay, so now they're bringing up some soldiers. And let's tear gas them. The tear gas will stun them. And I'm going to fire a missile right here to hit these infantrymen. Boom! Now, the rally flag, look at this. Okay, so they got a pillbox, right? Okay, let's try to take out as many of these guys as possible and drop some troops behind enemy lines and refill our soldiers that have died, right? So the idea here was to basically sort of create a pincer movement by using the rally flag. The rally flag, like I said, man, it's key. Rally flag and focus fire have to be like the most important ones. Now here's the question. Do you think we can finish off this base just using this base? This base just using the units we have on the battlefield? I wish I could pause it, but I can't. But you'll notice these little squares over some of our guys. They've hit, they've shot and hit enough enemy targets that they have become veterans. And there's this whole like farming of veterans. This game is pretty deep. And what we want to do on these two skull bases is farm as many veterans as possible. Are you guys following this if you knew? Probably not, but don't worry, man. We'll get through it. And look at that. By winning, we get a few little bonus cards here. Now, manage our veterans. Since this guy's new and he's pretty powerful, we want him to replace a medic. Rifleman, meh, we don't need those. And if I get to 39 and 45, I can unlock two more. Veterans are pretty cool, and I'll show you how we can use those a little bit later. So we attacked an enemy person's base, right? Oh yeah, more, more of this, got it, got it. Well, this right here is my base. So we have these three tents, and I've got this thing called munitions in the upper right. I've got 586. That's the in-game regular currency. Then you have gold, which is your premium currency. So like, say I wanted to upgrade this tent, it cost 227,000 munitions to upgrade. These guys spawn out units. I've got, it looks like I've got three assault troops, or maybe those are rangers. I've got a mortar, sniper tower. I'm trying to create like a little killing field. Look at this. This is where the majority of my defense is. In fact, this is where, like 90% of it. I've walled up up here. I'm trying to create this little death funnel. The troops walk their way in here, then walk up here and sort of like tower defense queue back down here. All the while there's this sniper shooting at them there. This machine gun will shoot at them here. The barbed wire slows them down. So this mortar tube has, it has created like a little bit of a killing field. Then once they finally make it out, all the snipers and machine gun nests I have converge on it and it's supposed to just kill them. Now you know how you could summon an airstrikes? Anti-aircraft nice. artillery here, you know, can defend against that to a certain extent. So that is the base. And what's cool is there's actually a mode like CPU defense. Where's my record? Toasty McToast, I've got 28,000. Start CPU defense and basically it'll send an endless wave and you just wanna survive as long as possible. One of the most watched videos on Guns Up on the channel is actually a CPU defense. So if you wanna check that out, or if you wanna see in the next video, well, hey, let me know. So let's attack another player. This is kinda of cool, alliance battles. We'll get into that a little bit later. So we've completed five of these. Campaign reward card progress. It says five out of five, but it sure doesn't seem like it. Wow. 5,000, 2,300, 1,100, 1,500. These guys are just huge, right? So let's go to... This one seems like it'd be a big step up. So I'm thinking what we need is a ton of munitions. We'll get a 3,000 munition one, and we'll use my most valuable card, focus fire. I think we were gonna want two focus fires and then one rally flag, because we're given one rally flag you get three powers right off the bat. I'll show you. PC versus PlayStation. Oh, I said PlayStation 4 earlier, didn't I? It's PlayStation 3. Oh, wow. We actually got a focus fire. A uh, decoy. Dang, boy. Oh, I thought I got a rally flag. Did I mess up? Oh, I have three focus fires. Okay. What we're going to do is get a bunch of rifles. Now, check this out. I got an idea. All right. We got the whole squad out there. I send the riflemen first. Expensive guys in the back, big shieldy boy in the front. What we want to do once they get a little bit closer is we're going to use a focus fire here. They'll shoot through the wall. Normally the AI will just automatically walk this way where they've carefully laid their plans to basically defeat me there. All right, so this is cool. Decoy is really, really fun. 
Everybody decoy here. Now the decoy, all of the AI, the enemy AI, are gonna shoot at that. Oh wow, they got a Rambo, don't they? Kill this guy. Shoot your RPG over here. Oh, it worked. And our surgeon is doing well. Okay. I think what we want to do is shoot through all of this. Oh wow, they got Okay, this is going to be this is going to be kind of scary. So I want them to target this. I want them to shoot through everything in front of them. There may not be enough soldiers out there. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to rally back. Everybody rally back. There's the rally card. Now, oh, can I hit those? Oh, those are machine gunner snipers. This is where all their defenses are. This is going to be a war of attrition. We may not be up for it. We'll see. And I've got one of these left. So now that we've rallied, once we get to here, I'm going to focus fire. I think we want to focus fire this. So everybody's going to shoot. And that actually worked out pretty well. We got a bombing run. Oh, they got two anti-aircraft guns pretty well placed out. And now all my guys are dead. Look at that, we've got six units left. But we have a ton of munitions. I have no rallies left, unfortunately. But those extra 3,000 munitions we packed as a bonus card are gonna come into major play here. All right, we'll drop that there. I don't know if it's the best, but that's what we're doing. Look at this, man. It's just like an absolute catastrophe in here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to break through this. I've only got 1,600 left. This is what a top base looks like, at least at my level. And this Rambo dude's going ham. Kill him while he's reloading. Yes. These dang snipers over here. What I need to do is use up this guy's defense and then drop this fire right on these two guys. Hopefully they die. Oh, God. One of them survived. Dang it. That's not good. And we're out of money. So this next one is... Well, this is it. Call in everybody. Now, this is a dumb move. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. But all my veterans are going to be popping out there. So we got no money, right? But it's called desperation. And it's a stinky cologne. But all these veterans here, which I will lose, are hopefully gonna allow us to break through. And I'm about to get a focus fire just from like the random abilities you get through this little cooldown. Oh wow, I'm getting bonuses. Here we go, let's, let's nuke these specialist units. My veterans are alive. I think, have we cleared out most of the AA guns? Yeah, we have. Oh wow. We might just get this with the use of veterancy. I'm summoning soldiers as fast as I can, man. All the veterans are pretty much dead. We're almost there though. Look at these guys. Veteran assault troops that just like barrage. Oh wow, that was great. All right, we need to take out this. Oh my God, we're gonna do this. I think. I'm gonna double strike this tower to try to kill it quicker. Oh, and it'll actually burn these troops. We have a surgeon back there. Every time we hear that, plum, that means the surgeon is basically reviving them from the dead. Oh my God. What did this cost me? Everything. I feel like Thanos right now, but was it worth it? And we'll carpet bomb those tents. I hope we get some veterans back after this. We'll do a double carpet bomb because that is what we were gifted with. <laughs> I hope some of the veterans we sent in here. Actually, I think they're all dead. We could have probably timed that better. And a lot of that comes from experience and we're definitely not playing fresh. We have one veteran I can see. <laughs> so we defeated this base, right? It was above our pay grade for sure. And we <laughs> we lost all of our veterans and we got two riflemen back, which are not good. So what we'll want to do now is farm easy two skull bases, okay? Yeah, but basically an alliance, let's see. I'm pretty sure Where's Baron's Brigade? Like, where do I see that? Or maybe they got rid of my squad. I don't know. I think we were a silver. But with mobile, if everybody's interested in this, wants me to hop back in, I will create an active community. All right, so this one's 2300. We want something a little bit easier. 6200, that's a, a misnomer. All right, so this one's an 1100 base. I think this one we could do one of my favorite cheese strategies, I call the 101st Airborne because I think about the D-Day invasion and how the Americans sent the airborne troops behind enemy lines to disrupt them, right? And that's basically our entire strategy right here. Now there's a lot more to this game. Like you may have noticed like when I had that unit selection screen, some of them had all these like weird little badges below their, you know, weapon class. Yeah, look at that, we got four of these. And I can, I mean, that's, there's like a deep, deep economy to this. 
I'm very curious to see how well received or, you know, what level of... This is going to be interesting. Okay, I think what we could do is do a little tear gas. Those are their veterans. This is not a good base if their veterans aren't taking cover, but are instead charging out. And so we tear gas them to stun them, and now we're just going to wipe them out. These poor, poor soldiers. I know we may have broken the Geneva Convention by using chemical warfare, but as Sun Tzu said, if all of you guys are dead and nobody knows I did it, it's not against the Geneva Convention. Okay, so here's their base, right? So what we want to do... Oh, man, this little AA gun. Here we go. We're going to do that and call in all the airborne right here. Normally, I do it behind enemy lines. Rally back while the airborne does all the hard work. Look at that. And then they just surprise, surprise, mother trucker. We drop a missile on that. These guys might win the battle for us. But that's like one of my favorite things to do is just go... All of my attack cards are just airborne. Paratrooper drop. Man, it's good to be back. It's been so long. So, what is Guns Up doing? Where has it been? Why haven't I played it in over a year? Well, I was waiting to see what they were doing with it. I knew they were up to something. I just didn't know what. And now, it's mobile. By the way, you can sign up for it. Now, since it was a one school base... We didn't get any veterans. We're going to have to farm some veterans. But if you guys do want to see more Guns Up, well, there's a few things you can do. I've got a ton of videos here on this channel. I've got a bunch of Guns Up video over on Baron Von Tactics. And you guys can request to see more. So thank you for watching. Check out Guns Up Mobile if you're interested in it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.